You're watching Taryn TV, a channel for entrepreneurs who want to learn about technology and business. If you are building your own website for your business and you want to make sure that you aren't missing huge opportunities to knock your website out of the park, then this video will help you understand first how to avoid the top mistake that causes users to have terrible experiences with business websites. Second, the one tool that every website should use for at least the first 90 days after their site is launched. And three, why giving out your web address can cost you tons of time and money. So first thing first, you have to understand something called page weight. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is how heavy a web page is. When your site is being pulled up, I need you to understand that it's literally being pulled up on a person's computer screen. Obviously, it's easier to pick up something that's light. There is no difference when it comes to your website. You want your website to be as light as possible so that when a visitor is trying to pull it up, it comes up super duper quick. This will help you drastically improve your customer experience. In fact, statistics show that if someone is coming to your website for the first time, you only have their attention for seven seconds. You'll start losing engagement if they are leaving your site because it's loading too slow. And the chances of you being able to get someone back to your site after they've left because of a bad experience is slim to none. So the top mistake that causes users to have those terrible load experiences with your website is the use of really large pictures. So to remedy this problem, you have to make sure that your images are resized so that they are generally less than 100 kilobytes. Now for your reference, if a foot is a gigabyte and an inch is a megabyte, then a centimeter is a kilobyte. So if you look at your images and they are either gigabytes or megabytes in size, they are extremely too big to be uploaded to a website. And if you don't know how to see how big your images are, I put together a PDF that shows you not only how to figure out the size of your image, but how to actually resize them so that they are less than 100 kilobytes. Just click on the Fix My DIY Mistakes link in the description below to grab it. When it comes to launching your website, you must know how to look for hidden growth opportunities. Now, what I mean by that is that every website should be studied by its owner. You want to know what areas of your website are catching people's attention so much that it's literally stopping them from scrolling and keeping them gazed in because these areas of your website are going to be the places where you have an opportunity to turn your strangers into fans. You want to know if users are clicking on things on your website that weren't intended to be clicked on. So you'll want to know if you need to place a button on there or if you need to add more pages or more details about a certain thing. So how do you know what people are trying to click on? How do you know what areas of your site are actually causing them to pause and take a really good look at them? And how do you know what things on your site are actually just distracting your visitors? You have to get recordings of your site. Now, I use a really awesome tool for this. It's a free tool that does two amazing things. First, it records your users' visits so that you know exactly what they did when they were on your website. And two, it provides you with heat maps of your web pages. Now, a heat map is just a picture of your website that has red spots in the items that get a lot of attention from your website visitors. If you want to know which tool I use, be sure to click on the Fix My DIY Mistakes link in the description. Now the last mistake that can cost you tons of time and tons of money is giving out your web address improperly. Typically when a business owner is trying to market their services and products, they will throw tons of things to the wall just to see which ones stick. This might include flyers, pamphlets, brochures, social media posts, Pinterest campaigns. I mean, the list is endless. And that's actually the problem. The list is endless. You can easily get turned into a content factory. And while you're doing a bunch of marketing and trying to move the needle in your business, you're distracting yourself from revenue generating activity that you probably need to be doing more uh, intently. So you're losing money left and right, all because you don't know which marketing tactics are worthwhile. But this can be solved easily if you learn how to properly pass out your web address. The key to passing out your web address when you are a business owner is to remember that everything you do is about tracking. You need to know the age of the customers that are coming to your page, how long they stayed on each page, 
what state or city they're in, and most of all, you have to know what drove them to clicking and getting onto your site. Was it the Instagram post, a blog, a video? When you properly pass out your web address, you will add information to the address so that this information can be passed along inside of Google Analytics. For those of you who don't know what Google Analytics is, it's a Google software or Google account that lets you see all of the traffic details pertaining to your site, like how much traffic you uh, received over the span of time, like a month or a day, or in this case, which platforms or links are responsible for the most traffic. Now, learning how to properly pass out your web address is a skill that deserves a video of its own. So if you want to learn the step-by-step -step for getting this done so that you never run into this problem again, I have a method that I call the SMCCT method. It stands for See My Customer Click Tags. And I explain it in detail in this video, how to market your business online without going social media crazy. Once you get these things hashed out, you will want to make sure that you implement the Market Domination Trilogy into your site, which are just powerful tools that help keep you in front of your dream clients and keep them engaged with your brand, which is why I cannot stress the importance of steps five and six of my six step marketing strategy. To learn more about my six step marketing strategy, click the link below. And of course, if you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe as well. When that subscribe button pops up, click the bell so that you'll be notified every time I release new content. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video.